smoking loud and cracking seals. And these niggas just don't know shit. I ain't never been on that bullshit. Is that trap that's why my dope shit? Keep money, get fresh, got flow. Yo, what is up, nerds? This is Frazier, but bringing you guys a vlog today, and it's something I want to ask my subscribers and people who come by and watch my videos because it's like 2:30 in the morning as I'm feeding him. <laughs> like, th this is one of the main reasons why my channel has been getting like two to three videos a week the last three weeks because of him. Yeah, you slowing stuff down around here, but anyway, um. I'll, I figured out a way to where I could post every day and I'm gonna make all that good stuff happen I'm gonna say that for the next vlog but anyway today I want to ask you guys something that's very very like serious to me it's like should I sell my Xbox one for a ps4 like should I switch over to the dark side to the ps4 life because my Xbox one is collecting dust even though I know the ps4 doesn't have like too many games on it at the moment either but overall like all the reviews and everything i watch it seems like the ps4 is going to be the mo most dominant thing like as far the most dominant console as far as like when it comes to playing games like to get the best resolution and best experience in in, in a game and i'm really not satisfied with the xbox one at all the interface is horrible my xbox one freezes a lot um, I barely turned it on. I turned it on today. I probably haven't turned it on in like a month. And I, I've been playing at 360 more than I played the Xbox One. And I turned it on today. And it like froze on Call of Duty Ghost. Take like a quick break. And it like froze on Call of Duty Ghost. And I had to like hold down the power button. Then redo it again. And and it is becoming like annoying. Like it, it doesn't. This game. My ex. God really my xbox one does not feel like next gen when i first got my xbox 360 it felt like next gen when i when i first played the xbox 360 when it came out it felt like i was playing a next gen console uh, i remember i got fight night round three gears of war um what is that was that planet earth planet space i, I don't know some game some third person um was a third person single player game awesome game every everything every game that i got my first year of well actually the first couple of months leading up to the first year it felt like next gen but this game does not feel like next gen I, i'm gonna get watchdogs but it's like do i trade my xbox in and get watchdogs on the ps4 and play with uh, one of my good friends that has ps4 or do I save the Xbox 360, uh, Xbox One, get Watch Dogs on Xbox One, and play it on now? The only reason I'm kind of like thinking about this is because of E3 around the corner. E3 is going to have a lot of big news. Um, last year they announced the Xbox One at E3. This year the Xbox One is out. I want to see what Microsoft is going to offer for like Xbox One users and stuff like that since the console wars has been going on and everybody's unhappy with microsoft so it's like i want to trade it trade in my xbox one for a ps4 to get watchdogs on it but it's like i don't want to do that then e3 come around and i'd be like upset when i see something big that microsoft has going on because it's like i don't want to buy rebuy xbox one once i already have if i send it back I'm not, i don't want it again like should i just hang on to the xbox one and buy a ps4 like during the holiday season or when an exclusive for the ps4 comes out like will it be even be worth hanging on to the xbox one like i'm not sure this is something that's really been bothering me because i'm ready to, come on man. i'm ready i'm ready to be like next gen gaming you know and I'm ready to make good content for, for games I like. Like, I like Call of Duty Ghost, but if I liked it the way I liked it, Gears of War 2, I'll be able to make better content, more content, because I'll be so into it. Um, I'm going to pick up Battlefield 4 this week for the Xbox One and see how I like it on that. But the crazy thing about it is, I hear that it's better on the PS4. I, I'm, I'm lost. Like, should I sell this 
this the sex box and go to the ps4 like i'm not sure man you guys please help me out my twitter is on the screen somewhere the link to my twitter is in the description um the comment section somebody help me i'm, I'm really thinking about it i want to go play with my friend on Watch Dogs on ps4 i hear the, the overall experience is better the interface is better i hate replying to messages on xbox one i don't even know how to really join a party without the connect man i feel like i got cheated out of my money in some type of way i i'm really confused and i don't want to go to pc i'm not a pc gamer yet but let me know in the comment section below i didn't want to talk you guys head off i just wanted to ask myself because on this channel like i said in my other video we're about to keep it gaming on here this is about to be strictly gaming on this channel and we're gonna have gaming discussions in in my videos in my vlogs and my commentaries so i will see you guys in the next video leave a like leave a comment tell me should i sell my xbox one for a ps4 because i'm lost and i'm confused and i need help i've been thinking about this it's 2 30 in the morning i'm feeding my baby a bottle and i'm thinking about selling my sex box and the controller sucks microsoft the xbox one controller sucks tell them tell them this this shit sucks son it sucks yeah he said it, it sucks all right we have this thing leave a comment leave a like peace